You know, I, I've always heard that, that, oh, head games didn't do as well as the first two kind of thing, but it, but it is five times platinum. Did it just sell slowly? Is that the idea? It, it may have. I know, I know that the album got, that there were so, some uh, radio stations that, that wouldn't play it uh, because of, because, first of all, because of the cover, which they, they viewed as, uh, you know, in bad taste, which, which it's, it's actually, I think it's a cute cover. It's a, it's a little little bit uh, out of line, but 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 uh, it, it's it's uh, it's not evil. Mm-hmm. And uh, and then second of all, uh, uh, "Dirty White Boy" was was the the first single, and uh, that there were stations that that perceived that to 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 be. Uh, in, in poor taste as well, and uh, so we had some major problems even getting the first single played, and and you know so, some some uh, places in the Bible Belt that wouldn't even put put the album in the stores. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. So if it sold, if it sold, how many did you say? Five million. Yeah, five million in the states. It must, it must be over over uh, a number of years. Because right. I know that that uh, within within the year of putting it out, it was only 1.5. Okay. I'm saying only. It's, I mm. think that's really good. But yeah. <laughs> compared to the first and the second album, it 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 it, it wasn't. Uh, it it was not a success. What to, what is your assessment of head games? I mean, people all all also say that it's possibly it was a bit uh, of a heavier, edgier album, and that might be why it didn't sell so well. It may, it may have been. I, I liked Head Games a lot. Uh, we had Roy Thomas Baker. Mm-hmm. That. Yeah. He, he he was the producer of uh, Queen and and uh, the Cars and um, you know he he, he was a, a very well known producer. Yeah. Uh, but 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 uh, I think his style of producing what was uh, non-existent. <laughs> Put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, we we you know our, our, a lot of our strength is in our songs and the arrangements and I think that was an album that we 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 didn't spend the the time and and the the care on on those arrangements because uh, he he was um, all about spontaneity and then on to the next song you know. Mm-hmm. So, so so when I listen to the album I hear great ideas. Yeah, and and good production, but 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 it sounds unfinished to me. Hmm. What were your favorite, say, tour memories of all time? Like a, like a band you went out with for a long time. Uh, touring with the Cars was really great. Hmm. Uh, Brian Adams opening for us was 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 a terrific tour. You know, uh, uh, I think uh, some of the memories, some of our our the ones that stick with me the most was playing. Uh, um, Day on the Green, right? Uh, Bill Graham's Day on the Green. Yeah. And um, when we were a, a brand new band and we had our first album out, mm-hmm. and I think uh, we we had like our second single climbing up the charts. Right. Um, we were invited to open that that day of festivities. Hmm. And uh, I think the gates opened at about seven o'clock in the morning. Yeah, and and we were already in our dressing rooms getting ready to go on, and Bill Graham came and, and took Mick and myself on stage. Yeah, at about ten of seven. Okay. And exactly at seven o'clock, the doors opened. This is, this is Anaheim Stadium. <laughs> right. And uh, there was a, a stream and a flood of people running to to get their their uh, their positions where they wanted to to see the show. And it was it was amazing that that right at at eight o'clock those doors opened and people just streamed through and it was a, a sight to behold honestly hmm. and and, uh, and and then uh, he, he took us back we went back to our dressing rooms and, and he didn't say anything, he just shook our hands and he said good luck today yeah cool cool yeah.